you are good so how are you all doing welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're highly welcome my name is Lillian and I live in Accra Ghana so I'm going to share a little bit of my birth story in Ghana in a Ghanaian hospital as a Nigerian living in Ghana yes I'm very much aware that you are not expecting this news at all from me how when did you get pregnant and kept it all to yourself without showing us how come Lily I know no 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 I know that you are concerned you are wondering you are cracking your brain oh this girl is back again with her pranks okay today I'm not about to prank you guys okay this is something that I've kept away from you guys for a very long time but at this point I want to talk about it and uh, share the good news with you all because you all are part of my life so pardon me okay I'm holding this bundle of joy like this <laughs> I wish I'm filming with my phone I'm holding these two guys like this I don't know if you can see them okay this is the first twin and this is the second one <laughs> as for their names I'm gonna leave that for later okay you're gonna be seeing them on my channel so later we're gonna talk about their name and today I just want to share their birth story how they were bedded in a Ghanaian hospital and all that went down so guys this is not a prank okay so um remember i left my kids in nigeria when i came to ghana in april on the first day of april i was in accra and i left my kids behind with my little sister because she is <laughs> she was supposed to start uni in september this september that just passed but this is what my sister gave us as a degree mm? this is what she gave us last last instead of bringing us a degree my sister brought us twins so i have not put out my channel because yeah i don't you see pregnancy pregnancy you see pregnancy issue i don't like talking about it i kind of feel like the people that get pregnant and talk about it vlog about it on their channel they are very very courageous for me i do not have that I do not have that strength, like that morale, that gut to talk about issues like that. Not because I don't believe or because I'm too traditional. No, it is something that I don't know. Like for me, it's not something that I enjoy talking about on my channel all the time. You know, and I couple with the fact that I was not the one carrying the, the pregnancy. So it was really easy for me to keep it low key and again even when i got pregnant with my wendy nobody knew about it until i gave birth that doesn't make me better than the people that vlogs about their pregnancies is a choice and this is mine as always so this bundle of joy here were bettered in a ghanaian hospital by my younger sister whom i brought to ghana when i was bringing my children because my family was already at the verge of breaking up there was a lot of arguments in the family this one will want to do this you know there was this division in my father there was this division in my in my family and to be honest with you all my mom have really tried for us and um, she raised us well she made sacrifice for us so for us to fight at this point and become so disorganized because my sister made a mistake for me to save that situation the best thing the, the for me to save the whole situation and keep the family together was for me to just take that shame and that responsibility and then bring my sister with me to ghana so that she can be here i can take care of her and uh, till she put to bed which to the glory of god she's already you know everything is 
<laughs> it's done. He he have the babies already. You know, but to be honest with you, if I had known when my sister got pregnant, as in that late, very, very month, like first two months, I don't know. I don't think these twins would have been here. That is as a matter of fact. <laughs> but to the glory of God, I didn't know until it was too late. So I'm happy they are here and they are boys. Okay, they are two boys. And um, she had them through cesarean section at a Ghanaian hospital, a government hospital here in Ghana. And to be honest with you guys, I am a very, 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 very honest person. It's, it's one of the best, it's one of the, the best decisions I've ever made for my family. Like bringing my sister to Ghana and getting her to register and give birth at the hospital here in Ghana. It's one of the best decisions I have made for my family this year so far. Because before I brought her here, I didn't know what to expect. I had to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. Um, my greatest fear was that it's going to cost me a lot of money. That was my fear that it's going to cost me so much. To the point that when my sister was close to putting to giving birth, I I chickened out. I wanted her to go home to Nigeria and give birth there, but um, a friend encouraged me and told me, "Oh, you have come this far, so you cannot back out. You can do it, Lily. You can do it." So here they are. Oh my God, I'm so <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of my sister, last last. I know we wanted a degree, but she presented us with two human beings. It's okay. She will go back to school when she can. That is if she's smart. <laughs> because now she's a mom. She got responsibilities. And the how she's going to come out of that is only her and her God and her destiny. So yeah, this is the good news. I'm going to hand them over to my sister. So my hand is paining me. Let's do in weight 2.7 kg at bed. And then this one weighed 2.3 kg at bed. So it means that my sister had a total of 5 kg growing in her stomach. So, <laughs> but last, last, this is what we got. I fat on more. In fact, we for granted. So, last, last, <laughs> this is our degree. I wanted to name them degree and certificate. Ah, oh, okay. I'm wondering how my sister is going to do this all by herself because my hand on day. Okay, I've done my part. Once she's out of my house, once she's out of Ghana, she's on her own. But for now, she's under me, and it's crazy. It's not easy. It's been sleepless nights here. We don't sleep at all. My routine has really changed. Everybody is affected one way or the other. Everybody is affected one way or the other. Even my little girl is affected. Now she felt like she feels like now Wendy feels like all the attention has been diverted to the queen, so she cries for no just cause. She just gets jealous and then sometimes she wants to carry them and when I say no, she'll cry for long. Praise just automatically just grew up on her own. She just avoid us please just move on there are things she used to call me mommy please i want this now she goes there to get it everybody in the house is trying to adjust to our new lives it is not easy right now but the hardest part i believe the hardest part is over and now is us trying to find ways on how to survive with this new life i cannot believe that i have seven human beings now i have seven human beings living under my roof it is crazy i'm too young for that <laughs> right but nobody sent me actually so when my sister took in it was a big problem at home you know them you know my siblings were really mad wanting to especially my brother and my eldest sister wanting to get the guy arrested doing this it was a call for the guy never denied being responsible for the pregnancy yeah so when you take him to the station what are you going to say he never said he's not the one so there was nothing we could do at that point so i just told them okay please for the sake of peace leave her because at that point we got to find out 
there's nothing we could do like i said earlier if i had known earlier the first two months of pregnancy definitely these twins wouldn't have been these twins wouldn't have been here yes but then for for god to keep all of that away from all of us and then made us because little did i know that when i left my sister with my kids in nigeria she was already pregnant when she agreed to help me take care of my kids she was already pregnant and we didn't know and before i left nigeria she was in my house for more than a month i did not know i couldn't there was no nothing for me to be able to guess and say okay this girl is pregnant or something she was active she was so okay there was no changes nothing i didn't notice anything so only for her to send me a voice note one day Mom left nigeria the last the first day of april and i got to accra here that same day so and then she called to inform me in may in early may so you can see and at, at, at the time she informed me she was already four months going to five pregnant i was so devastated but the deed has been done I spoke to my friend whom <laughs> I talk about everything with most of the time and he, he encouraged me. He told me, okay, now what are you going to do about your sister? Are you going to disown her? Are you going to abandon her? So don't, don't, at this point, there's nothing you can do. Help her. So good enough, we are in Ghana and that she gave birth at the hospital. It is one of my most it is one of my most pleasant experience as a non ghanaian living in Ghana so far. I am not even going to lie about this. This was so good. Apart from the attitude of the head workers, like the nurses, some of them, apart from that, it is one of the best decisions I have ever made for my sister, giving birth in Ghana. This, this, see, it was <laughs> immediately my sister got to 40 weeks they did not give her a breathing space like some of them took it upon themselves they became extra nice to the point of taking her from the hospital to the house you know close to the house and then they will hold her down check everything and when my sister just got to 40 weeks and she went for that antenata even me i have not prepared myself because the due date was still ahead so but on getting to the hospital they seized my sister and said she cannot go back she had to stay put because her bp was really going high so they were going to operate her and um, get the babies out that was for me it was nothing new i just wanted i trusted the ability i trusted them enough for them to do whatever they want to do with my sister as long as it's going to lead us to you know saving the lives of the babies and especially the life of my sister so i agreed i told them if there's anything they want me to sign they should bring it i'm ready you know all the things they asked me to provide i did all the drugs they wrote for me to buy all the payments everything that i did all that and i presented it to them and they were like oh wow you are serious I say why not anything that is anything you guys are telling me to do right now I'm gonna do it I'm gonna trust you guys and that was it the next thing the following day after providing those things in the night of about one o'clock p.m. the following day being foot of October they operated my sister and got the babies out so because I was not allowed in there she was the one that called me and she was the one that sent me a voice note that okay sister don't worry i'm fine okay and at that time i was very sick and wendy was very sick we just you know got discharged from the hospital me and wendy so she told me don't stress don't worry we are fine the babies are okay i'm okay i was overjoyed i felt so relieved you know immediately i had to go back of course so <laughs> my greatest fear came knocking which happened to be money yeah at least all over the world if people hear that ghana is the most expensive country in africa according to people and of course it's not cheap to live in ghana but this aspect of living in ghana really surprised me for you know the hospital bill we paid 
really surprised me before i talk about how much we paid let me throw you guys back to immediately i got my sister registered at one of the poly clinics the insisted she go for health insurance card registration which she did which cost us just uh how much is it was it five cd or less i don't know or even free for pregnant women i think it's it's not not more than um it's not more than it was not more than 10 cd for the health insurance card then after that everything just started to become so you know cheap for me like each visit each of the visits that she goes for i pay less uh, I, I continue to pay less and less and less and then when she got to eight months of pregnancy they transferred her they wrote a letter to a hospital from the clinic i don't know if you understand and they stated clearly to me when they invited me for a talk they told me the reason they are transferring my sister to the hospital to a hospital is because they want um, doctors to be available they don't want any story because she's expecting twins so that was totally okay i felt like okay these people know what they're they really knows what they're doing so they transferred us to the hospital from there she continued the antenatal at the hospitals at a hospital so and then she gave birth at the hospital through cesarean section and i was so scared because when i was buying drugs i think i spent like that night on drugs i think i spent almost 500 cities yeah almost 500 cities on drugs so apart from other things that they would tell me bring this buy this 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 bucket this that this different things so i was in for it i said okay there's something i wanted to buy i wanted to buy a mattress for us to add to what we have here so that when the babies comes we'll have enough space to sleep but then that money i just couldn't i just dive everything divert everything to pay this pay that pay this oh my god so i was waiting for the wars that is discharging when they want to discharge her I was like god how am i going to do it this is going to be expensive but then to the glory of god two three days later they they gave us bid that we should go that they want to discharge her and they gave me bid. guys do you know how much they gave me to pay for my city 405 city that is what it means guys that was how i jubilated so i paid 405 city is my god not amazing hmm. it possible because of health insurance for those of you that are not Ghanaians, that is how it was for me giving birth at a Ghanaian hospital and to be honest with you if you are in ghana and you are pregnant no matter how rich your husband is please consider the government hospitals you may not like the treatments that you get the attitude of some of the workers is crazy their attitude is mad or is crazy um, at the end of the day it's going to worth it because the money is going to be less expensive for you but if you go to the private ones which i have patronized before at some point in my life living in ghana here i have patronized the private hospitals and it was crazy it was expensive i was not giving birth and it's not like i gave birth then I fell sick and they rushed me there in less than 30 minutes they finish up and discharge me and I, I was asked to pay 700 cities for just one day it's not like I passed the night some of the medical centers here they don't allow admission you see I think the Ghanaian government is really strict about this health thing in Ghana I don't know where they get money to fund their health sector wherever that money is coming from please Ghanaians continue to support your government to do it because i know how people lost their lives trying to wait you know for money for them to you must deposit money for before your wife or your sister or your somebody close to your loved ones will be attended to but here it is not like that so please hold on to that if this is the only thing that your government is doing for you Ghanaians, hey, you should be happy.
you should be happy if this is all they can give you as a token of them saying okay this is uh your taxes the tax that um the, the citizens are paying the taxes that are being collected the revenue the tax revenue this is how we are using it if this is what they are using that money for continue to support them continue to support your governments they are so so in for saving a lot of people if that aspect your system out of the system if you scrap away the health insurance thing out of your system is going to affect a lot of people thank you very much to the government of ghana thank you the health workers even though some of you your attitude is god i'm praying for you you change thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye